Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at the formula for alcohols. Right, let's begin. So there are four alcohols you'll be expected to be able to draw in the exam. Methanol, ethanol, propanol and butanol. The first thing you need to be able to do is remember how many carbon atoms you've got. And to do that, I use a memory exercise. So I use monkeys eat plastic bananas. It's a weird phrase, but hopefully it can help you remember the order. So once you know that phrase, monkeys means methanol, eat, ethanol, plastic, propanol, bananas, butanol. And that gives you the order of carbons from one, two, three, and four. The next thing you need to know is how many bonds that every carbon atom can make. So carbon's in group four, which means it has four electrons in the outer shell, and therefore it needs four electrons to get a full outer shell. This gives it a valency of four, meaning it can make four bonds. The next step is to remember that all alcohols have an OH group. Now you know that, you can draw any of the alcohols that we've talked about. So if we start off with methanol, we've got one carbon. That carbon atom can make four bonds. So we draw it out like this. We know it's an alcohol, therefore it has an OH group. So I put an O with a dash and a H to show my covalent bonding there. And then all that's left is to fill out all the rest of the bonds with hydrogens. And then from that, you can work out your formula. So how many carbons have I got? One. How many hydrogens have I got, not including the OH group? Three. And then I put my OH at the end. So my formula is CH3OH. Let's try that again with ethanol. So ethanol has two carbons, monkeys eat, therefore I put my two carbons in. Each carbon can make four bonds, so I put in four bonds, bearing in mind there's already one between my two carbon atoms, and it looks like this. And then I put an OH at the end, and then fill the rest with hydrogens. So it looks a lot like this, which is C2H5OH. Now what you may also be asked is the general formula for an alcohol. Now nice and simply that's CnH2n plus 1 OH, where that n is the number of carbon atoms. So if we try and work out the formula for propanol, which has got three carbons, we start off by putting C3, because that's our number. To work out the hydrogens, it's 2n plus 1. Our n is 3, so 2 times 3, and then add 1 on the end, which becomes 6 plus 1, which is 7. So I have C3H7, and then I just add my OH on the end, and that is my formula for propanol. Now we can always check that by drawing it. So I've got three carbons. Every carbon forms four bonds. I add an OH on the end, and then fill the rest out with hydrogens, and that gives me the formula. You guessed it, C3H7OH. And then it's exactly the same for butanol. So when we get onto the apply question in a minute, I'm going to get you guys to have a go at that one. And that is your reply question. So draw and write the formula for butanol. It's worth two marks, so you get one mark for the formula, one mark for the drawing of it. Pause the video, have a go, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, so we've got butanol. Let's see whether you've got it right. So the first thing to remember, monkeys eat plastic bananas, MEPB. I've got four carbon atoms. So if we start off with the formula, which is CnH2n plus 1 OH, my N is 4, therefore my hydrogens is 2 times 4 plus 1, which is 9. Therefore my formula is C4H9OH. Now let's draw it. So I've got four carbons, we fill those out, we add an OH on the end, and then we make sure that every carbon atom has got four bonds coming out of it. You fill all those bonds out with hydrogens, and lo and behold, we've got C4H9OH. And that drawing, as long as it's correct, gets you your second mark. Now, although for the exam, you're only asked to be able to draw the first four, I'm asking you to draw the one with five carbon atoms, and it's exactly the same. So this one is draw and write the formula for pentanol, which is five carbon atoms. It's worth two marks. It's exactly the same question as the first. You just have your N as five. And that brings this video to an end. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to my channel, you can check out the latest video, and you can visit my website up above here. Bye now.